Yo yo, it's Kevin here from West End Games and this is the deck I'm going to be playing in the first round of the Blue Envelope Tournament. So this is a deck list given to me by my good friend Martin Porter. Some people might know him by his magic online handle of Harry13 and it's a Teamer Reclamation deck. So this deck is based around the card Wilderness Reclamation that you might remember from previous standards. And what we're trying to do is use this card to float a lot of mana in our end step and then finish off our opponents with a giant explosion. So it's a combo deck based around these two cards. It also has a smaller combo with Rao Storm's Conduit where if you have two copies of Expansion you can loop them infinitely and finish off your opponent with the Rao Pings. So I really enjoyed this deck in previous standards what has it gained from Throne of Eldraine? Well, the main thing it's gained is Fae of Wishes. And what Fae of Wishes lets us do is it lets us go and find linchpins for our deck from our sideboard or find cards that will let us extend the game by a little bit so that we can set up and deploy our combo. So that means that the sideboard is actually an extension of our main board with this deck. So we can shoot up an expansion, explosion, which combos with Wilson's Reclamation or Rao's Arik. Um, or we can go shoot up another copy of Rao if we already have two expansions in hand. We can go find Chandra if we want to use that as a way to finish the game. Really good finisher against control decks. Just drop it down and put a bunch of emblems on them. Or if we have to, if we're still having trouble setting up, we can go and search for into the story and draw a bunch of cards and try and gain some leverage in the game that way. When our opponents gain a bunch of life, it can be hard to finish them off with a big explosion. So Jace Wielder of Mystery allows us to have an alternate win condition, which is just deck ourselves. Um, so that's a good one to tutor for as well. Uh, one Flame Sweep in the board that we can go and find with the Fae of Wishes. Um, the other three are in the main, but this just gives us access to one. Just makes our Fae a wee bit more flexible. Um, Bone Crusher Giant we don't really wish for very often, uh, but it's good to bring against the aggro decks, just kill a small creature and then um, use the use the Bone Crusher Giant himself to finish them off. Return to Nature, uh, just a disenchant effect we can shoot her for. Disdainful Stroke, now Disdainful Stroke is a very important card on the sideboard because it lets us wish for it the turn before we go off, counter our opponent's big play so they don't kill us, and then untap and finish them off. Uh, and Aether Gust serves a very similar role, um, where if they already have a threat in play, we can just set them back by a turn, with the hope that then on our next turn we can finish them off. And Veil of Summer, um, again, not normally wished for, but it's just essential against the control decks who are trying to dismantle our combos with hand attacks like Duress and Thought, yeah, Thought Erasure. So the rest of the main board is just ways to do that. Same thing, help us extend the game so we can set up our combo. So we've got Lava Coils uh, to get rid of creatures, the Flame Suites I previously mentioned, Brazen Borrowers, just bounce things, just buy us a turn. Now the odd card in the main deck is Mystical Dispute. Now the reason that this card is good is because Teferi is a nightmare for this deck because it means we can't combo off, we can't do things in our end step. Teferi makes us play at sorcery speed. So just having the most efficient answers to Teferi is very very important. And at the end of the day, a 3 mana mana leak isn't the worst thing to have in our deck as well if we're not against blue decks. Um, we've got a niv Mizzet, just as an alternate way to win the game. Anyone knows, anyone who's cast this spell knows if you untap with this card, uh, it's very difficult to lose a game from that position. Uh, and it plays well with a lot of the other things we've got going on in the deck, like these growth spirals and the chemistals insights, which are the gears that just keep our deck turning over. Grow Spiraling and Chemistals Insight and can just draw us a bunch of cards, help us churn through our deck, make land drops so that we can deploy our Wilderness Reclamation and try and combo kill our opponent. Uh, the Rao's Outburst, uh, when Harry said to put this in my deck, uh, I thought yes. Uh, I love this card, uh, I've tried to jam it in every blue-red deck I've built since it's been released. Uh, it's just so flexible, kills creatures, helps us search for combo pieces, love it. Mana base, uh, dead straightforward, 12 shocks, 5 temples, uh, an island, a castle Vantress, two mountains, two forests, and then three Fabled Passage. So nothing special going on there. So let's see how this week of the Blue Envelopes tournament goes. Oh, 
Okay, so here I am for my first game of the Blue Envelope Tournament. Um, sounds okay. Uh, hopefully I can hit a fourth land for Chemisters. Uh, I've got some expansion so I can copy some removal spells and maybe try and get something going. Uh, I'm going to keep this. Got no idea what Newborn Skyfire's playing. So... <clears throat> okay, once upon a time. That could mean she's a Field of the Dead deck or maybe a Quest and Beast midrange deck. Let's have a wee look. Yeah, Field of the Dead by the looks of things. Okay, maybe not. Maybe just some black green midrange deck. So, stick to the plan. Untap breeding pool pass, that means we can cast growth spiral, get our chemistals going next turn. We do have access to expansion if they do something. Temple down, have a look at the top of our deck. Gonna put a land on the bottom, I think. <sighs> Flame sweep. Um, I've got no reason. No, I need to bottom this, I need to find some action. Hopefully, they're not an elemental deck. to see it. Should, shouldn't have said anything there. Okay, pass the turn. Uh, so they're going to get one Rhythm Reef trigger, but they were going to get that anyway, even if I kept the Flame Sweep. Um, so I just need to hope this Chemist does digs me into something good. So I expect their turn is pretty scripted here. Just going to be put down Rhythm Reef. And hope that ramps them in the same way that the Beanstalk Giant would have played that instead. Um, if they played Beanstalk Giant, I, I might just expansion it. Thought Erasure. Okay. I want one of those. And I'm not against Thought Erasure in them a second time, so I'm going to put on full hold. Let's resolve this first one. Ooh. Right, okay. Uh, there's a lot of scary stuff going on there. I think actually, based on this, I will thought erasure them twice. Um, and just take away all the scary stuff here. Um, do I want to leave them a Risen Reef? Uh, okay, I'm going to take the Cavalier. Uh, midnight Clock is good if I get enough time. Uh, I think I will leave the Midnight Clock on top and Thought Erasure them a second time. I think is the play. And then... Do I take the... Maybe I don't. Maybe I just need action. No, I'm going to bottom this. I don't know if I'll have enough time for that. And I'm going to go a second time as well, so they have to take this chemistals, and I can still chemistals up from the yard. Um, so that's just a land, so... Yarrick. So a few turns off Yarrick. This would be their turn four. Do I care if that's their turn four? No, I guess just take this and deny them anything to do. Because this can go off its head, especially with Yarrick. Yeah, I'll take this. Rao. Yeah, that's pretty good.
guy. Yep. You like the gauntlets? <laughs> I've got them myself. Yeah, because that represents four cards for us next turn. So I can... Yeah, I like that. Because unless they get a good top deck here or they're just going to be ramping... I'll draw a lot of cards. That was a good draw. So we need to hope they miss on land here. Ah. Uh, so this could go pretty bad for us here. Not not doing it. So there's a storm coming your way. Uh, I, no, that, that seems right. And then I've still got blue off my castle Vantress. Yep. You copy it. You oh, that's really good because that gets Yarrick. Play my castle. And then I'm going to pass the turn. That mystical dispute was a really good draw. set up pretty good now, Wilderness Reclamation, a bunch of chemistals. Oh, bruised my ego too. One, two, three, four, five, six, draw. Put my main phase. Uh, so I think this turn is just up ticking Raul. And if we like by a to ride the lightning. what we see. I mean I do like having counter spells. So I think we will keep that. Which makes me not want to play Temple. One, two, three, four. Um We're doing. Yeah, next, 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 next. We're good. Could have saved on a little mana there, but I want to keep this safe on top of my deck in case they thought it for me. Cavalier, uh, I would like to counter that. Um, what have I got? I've got blue, 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 red, red, red. So I've got enough Mizzet mana, so I can discard this. What I'm going to do is on my next turn I'm going to double up on this chemistals with Raul to draw another four cards uh, and try and really take over this game. Do you need some payoff? Do you need a Niv or something to try and close this? Uh, because we've used a couple of expansions already. A Fairy would be good. Um, wish for something at the board. <laughs> you 
You're not gonna like this. Live, Daddy. Here we go. Okay. So, uh, I want to get the second reclamation down. I don't want to cast this growth spiral until we have the Niv in play. So, uh, let's play this to thin our deck. Second reclamation down. End of turn. Yep, yeah, something like that, that's fine, resolve. That's Ash, that's great. That's fine, okay, cool. We're going to game two, folks. Cool, right. Now we're into sideboarding. Uh, so, against elementals, uh, I do want access to the Chandra. They did thought sees me. So I like a couple of these. I want Chandra. Uh, I think Ral's Outburst isn't going to be very good right now. Uh, it just doesn't kill an awful lot. They're trying to get us with, with big things. Uh, to that end, I do want Disdainful Stroke. Uh, do I want Bone Crusher Giant? Um, it'd be good for picking off the smaller elementals. It's, it applies pressure. Now, Lava Coil... Uh, it doesn't kill any of their big stuff, it doesn't kill the Cavalier, it doesn't kill the um, Yaruk. I don't actually seem at his best. Let's take out a couple of Lava Coils. I think that's Flame Sweep to be honest. Um, Mystical Dispute seemed good. Uh, Midnight Clock might be a bit slow here. Let's trim that. Let's try putting in some Giants uh, and an Aether Gust. Um, delete this configuration. Uh, yeah, the giants are better than the f coils, I think. Don't know what we could play that I'd want a coil that doesn't die to Bone Crusher Giant. Um, yeah, and uh, they'll leave one in here just so I can wish for it. Uh, looks good to me. Let's go into game two. Uh, now this hand I cannot keep. Uh, the counter spell is good, uh, but I can't have that as my only thing going on, so we're going to take a mulligan. Uh, and this hand's a lot better, we've got a fairy, we've got an aether gust uh, to really set them back a couple of turns. Uh, growth spiral will hopefully dig us out of whatever we're... Um, so yeah, I'll keep this. And what am I going to bottom? I think... I need to keep this temple, so I think what I want to do is bottom bottom this island and that means I've got No, I can't bottom the island. So I need to bottom this mountain. And that means I can grow spiral on two. Yeah. Seems correct to me. Not shocking. It's been a goose. No, okay. Don't know what that could mean. Shocked in tomb. Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, okay. Let's keep that. It means I've got an answer to any potential turn three resin reefs. I guess now we'll find out. Wonder if they are holding up Vela Summer. Hmm. Uh, I, th I think what we're doing is pretty scripted anyway. We're just going to play Island, Grow Spiral, put down a Temple of Epiphany, um, and go from there. 
probably bought many lands we see. Okay. So is there a duress in our future? I've got no idea what that might mean. Why did they shock? Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll find out. Do I Aether Gust if they play Risen Deep here? I think I do. That just sets them behind. It's just a time warp at this point. Because I'm not going to be able to do anything for 4 mana on this turn anyway. Because my lands are tapped lands. That's not a tapped land, but it means I can get this down. Uh, an expansion? Is an expansion good? Uh, well, I can't imagine it's bad, so let's hold on to that. Uh, and pass it back. Yeah, it's in this time. It's a good one off the top. To land. Okay, cool. Uh, we will grow spiral. Let's get this temple into play. Get a look at the top. I never miss it. Uh, I mean, yep. Put us down tapped and hope that the top of our deck is good to us. Put on full control. It's very important with a deck like this where there's a lot of triggers going on that you do play with full control on. Six. What can they do for six? Yarrick. Right, okay, so. We have to kill this to stop all the Yarrick nonsense. Yarrick's in. I'm not happy about it, but. I don't have the counter spell this time, so hopefully we can. Hmm. Um, I guess we're just firing this off, trying and hit our land drops. Wilderness, wilderness Reclamation is nice. It's unfortunate it's not land drops, but we can maybe start doing some stuff as long as they don't go off their head in the next couple of turns. So I'm hoping this Yarrick's just going to hit me for 3, they're going to go to 21, nothing too crazy is going to happen. Oh no. And a Field of the Dead. I mean unique types, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, still a wee bit off it, but it is getting sketchier. Um, we might try and go for a RAL expansion build in the next couple of turns, uh, because I think that's the only way we can win this one. Let's draw up. Borrowers. Right, okay. So I need to get my Logan's Reclamation down. Let's put that down. Um, if they do something, okay, once upon a time, once upon a time there was a, another resume, mm, I 
I guess we're all in on combo at this point, so it probably means I just want to draw this chemistals insight. Yep. And now we've got Field of the Dead triggers as well. Yeah, I may just have to try and combo as soon as I can. Can I survive? What is this? This is 4, 13, then another 4, 6, 7, 8. Uh, 1, 2, 3. So depending. I wonder how many islands they've got in the deck. If I bounce this Yarrick, what happens? I guess we're about to find out. Hmm. Maybe... We bounce Yarrick and wish for a flame sweep, and that mops up this board. Okay. Oh, right, so... I can't row and wish in the same turn. I think I may wish for a flame sweep. And just... suck up a ceratops. Man... Because if they give this haste, then they can't... If I bounce this, this is all that's coming in. Oh, well that's really good for this flame suit boy. Oh, I should have bounced the Yarrick in response to the Risen Reef. Just to prevent them drawing so many cards. That was pretty loose. Okay, well we made a mistake. No point making more mistakes. And we take one and then we flame sweep and mop this up. Well we're not even attacking. That's interesting. Let's draw our card for Tom. Another reclamation. Right. Okay. So let's start off. Go to our main phase. And we're gonna wish. For a flame sweep. Then, I'm going to hold control and I'm going to double flame sweep in my instep and that will kill our Yarrick as well.
Okay. So now hopefully we get to put Ral into play. This Yarrick doesn't cause us too many issues, hopefully. Okay, just thought erasure. Takes Niv. Okay, so does that mean they have an answer for Ral? I guess we're about to find out. Now, when I route, I wonder. I think I just need to refill my hand, so I think I. Yeah, okay, so Rao can't survive, so we're just using Rao to draw a bunch of cards. Get these creatures down actually. Okay, let's attack. If we play route, it just means that we go one, two, three, yeah, okay. Uh, but I didn't hit land drops. Let's get these creatures down. Resolve. Once upon a time, there was a... A land? Another field of the dead. Oh no. Okay, work is cut out. Okay, Resin Reef is in. And another field of the dead. Jesus. Can I even survive next turn? Mm. Looks like no. A lot of zombies. If I do... Oh, 
Oh, and this thing has reach. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so we need to win. How do we win on our next turn? It probably involves Ral's Arik and another expansion explosion. I'm comboing my opponent dead. So I can attack them to four and I can expansion them for one, two, three, four if they build on this. So then I've got Can I get to ten? Can I get to ten? Six, twelve. So how much mana would I need for this if I want to kill them from this? Um So to do nine damage I would need 13 mana, so I can do that. It involves going Reclamation, holding priority. Yeah, okay. We're going for that. Have we done it? Are they dead? I guess we will find out. We pay two life. I'm going to dump another Reclamation into play. Oh no, because I've got this. Okay, maybe they missed the block. Do we have enough? Find out. Fourteen. Yep, yeah, that's all our mana. We don't be enough. Game two. Oh, game three. Uh, I did like that. That felt good. Um, wishing for a flame sleep was pretty clutch. Uh, yep, Aether Gust was good. Um, I think we're just running this back. I don't think we want anything different. Midnight Clock still too slow. Lava Coil still doesn't kill anything. Uh, I like our counter spells. <clears throat> Alexandra. So yeah, it's just a uh, try and go under it. Oh man, that was that was so close. Dumb cavalier having reach. Waiting. Okay, let's go. Game three. Team of Rick. Come on, deck. 
we would like to play first? This hand is great. Keep seven. Um, we need to draw some action, but we've got some growth spiral to try and gain tempo. Our opponent's mulliganing. We've got this mystic dispute for the first thing that's going to cause us a problem. Um, I probably lead on steam vents. Okay, let's go to our main. Um, yep. Tapped. Go. Don't you rest me. Tap plant. Like it. That's a good one. Go to our main phase. Pay too late. Next. And some. Here go, opponent. If they thought sees me, do I counter or do I thought sees them back? I like. Thought sees them back. Taking Risen, we feel actually puts them off casting this. This is triple green. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I want to hit land drops. It's a little bit annoying to lose our counter spell, uh, but it does mean we get two goals out of our chemistals. What our main phase? Uh, I'm going to play this one just to conceal a little bit of information, but they pretty much know what we're up to this turn. So I'd like to a land drop here, so I'm just going to fire off this uh, Chemistals Insight. Perfect. Okay, and they're going to go looking for a Golos. Okay, can't cast that yet. Maybe it means. Oh, there we go on top. It's a good one to draw. The Golos on the horizon. Okay, so they're getting closer to green for this thing. I look quite far off green. Which means if I can counter the Golos, I'm probably in pretty good shape. Um so it's an instant um 
Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to pass. And then I'm going to try and disdainful stroke their Golos. Fire off this growth spiral. Hopefully put a row down next turn. Oh, I do have this. Maybe I try and bait this out. It's the giant. I don't know. We'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. Can this hit planeswalkers? All non land permanents. Yes, it can hit planeswalkers. Sorry, friend. No Goloses today. Land. Lovely. Oh, beautiful. Um, main. Right. So, can't put down Rao. Is there anything I want to wish for? I think so. Um, kind of into just hitting land drops. That was a nice land. Then we've got a wilderness reclamation for next turn, so hopefully we can back up a row. Um, so maybe we can. Try and bait the removal here. I like that. And that will do a bit of damage to him as well. Okay. So, and he goes. Hopefully I can dodge a land heal. Okay, it's not a land that casts us. So if we draw a land, we're in supremely good shape. Didn't draw a land. We did draw, still draw something good. Uh, We'll get Rausarek down as soon as we can. It's a blocker. Yeah, okay. And then hopefully we can use Rao to scry land to the top so that we can start doing stuff with this reclamation next turn. For raw power, hurricanes be dragons, no question. No, that's good. So then we can minus through the row. We can draw four cards next turn. Yeah, I'm into this. Play a giant. <laughs> yeah, we should we should hit a land in our top four cards, and then we can start doing stuff. Okay, so now we definitely hit our land. Uh, we've got red, 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 blue, 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 blue. Tell blue. Okay, so now they're on hit a green source. So if we can fade a green source here, I think we're in good shape. Mm. 
This is fine. I'll block if that's what they want to do. Well, they can't. Okay. Draw a card. Cool. Main phase. So. Wilderness Reclamation. Right. on opponent. Cool. Right. So now we attack. And if they... Are they just dead next turn? I think they're dead next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They're dead next turn if they don't block. So I guess we get to run this attack for free. Oh, they're not locked. Oh, opponent. Okay. That's enough. Two, three, four. I think this is enough. Um one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's enough, yeah. Okay. Let's chemistals. stuff. No attacks. No attacks. No attacks. Next. Next. Go against it.
good game opponent. Mm. And there we go, that is Team of Reclamation and my first round of the Blue Envelope Tournament. Uh, cheers for watching.